Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. As you can see, it's Chelsea themed with Christian Pulisic and Temi Abrahams as our main protagonists. Uh, I was inspired by this uh, edit uh, from a YouTube video I watched, so I'll link it in the description below. Uh, a YouTuber who did some speed art, so go ahead, check their channel out. I don't know who they are, uh, I just came across it, I got shown it to me by someone on Instagram, and I checked them out, and I thought, yeah, pretty cool, I'll do an edit on it. So. Here we are, I've done something similar and I've kind of done my twist on it. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So I'm working on a MacBook, so I'm going to press Command N for a new document. If you're working on Windows, you can press con Control N. If at any point I say Command for um, any shortcuts, it means Control on the Windows keyboard. But I digress. I'm using a 1080 by 1080 pixels at 300 resolution pixels per inch, RGB color 8-bit and a white background. So I've got this nice square... Uh, canvas ready for Instagram. Okay, so the colour that I'm going to start with, uh, 142 Delta 69. Now, what I did is I selected this colour from Christian Pulisic, uh, so I already had this colour selected. If you're doing a different image, uh, sorry, a different sports team, okay, just select a colour that's on their shirt and you can't go too far wrong. Now, because it's the foreground colour, I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and backspace. If you want to set the white colour there, you can press Command or control and press backspace and it will change it. So I'm pressing alt and backspace for this image here, for this color here, sorry. Now I'm gonna drop the Chelsea logo in. And I'm just gonna drop it in there. Now it's quite shiny and I'm gonna position it somewhere around there. Hit enter. Now the opacity, I'm gonna drop down to 60. So we want this to be barely visible. Okay, it's just, it's a bit of an added texture. I added this at the end when I was making it before, but I'm gonna insert it now at the beginning, drop it down to 5% so you can barely see it. There we go, so it's only just visible. It's clearly visible now. However, once we add all the other layers stacked on top, it'll uh, hardly become visible. Next, I'm gonna insert a paper overlay. So all these will be in the description below, all these um, Should we call them? Excuse me. All the stock images. That's the word I'm looking for, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna place my paper down. I'm gonna set the blend mode to overlay as well. So what we're doing here with these blend modes, if you didn't already know, and you played around with them, you don't really know. Blend modes change the way the pixels on this layer interact with the layer underneath. That's kind of the easiest way I can describe it. Next, I'm going to uh, bring in my picture of London. Okay, I'll link this in the description below. All I'll say is, with, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, with, um, when you're choosing a picture of your city, of your team or what or whatnot, um, just take your time to find a high resolution image. Don't just find the, the first one you, you see. Uh, take your time to have a, a good, good look around. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go to my uh, shape tool there, my rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure I've got path selected. Now, I'm still working on, on Photoshop CC17. Yes, I am going to update it. I'm going to get around to it. Probably do it next week. I'm so lazy. Um, so I'm going to hold shift down on my keyboard if you're using CS6. I know a few people are using CS6 who follow me because uh, they message me. But drag it down and it keeps it constrained. And I'm going to go down to about there. Okay, if you're using an older version, 1920, you, okay, you don't really need to worry about that. I'm press Command T for my uh, conform tool, and I'm just going to position it. So I'd like Westminster Bridge, is it? London Bridge? Tower of Tower Bridge? I'm not sure. I'm not a Londoner. I'm a Northerner. Um, it's not London Bridge, I don't think. Let me know in the description below. Uh, and we're going to get the skyline there of the Thames. I'm going to hit Enter. So that's how I've placed my path. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to that rectangle tool there. Okay, I'm going to hit selection, zero pixels. We've got our uh, marching ants. Okay, I'm going to press Command J, you can press Control J, and it just creates a copy of it. And if I take away that bottom layer, okay, we can just uh, ditch that in the trash can. Now, if you've not got your rulers uh, on, you press uh, Command R or Control R, that'll bring them on. Okay, and I'm just going to in fact, before I do that, I'm going to select the bottom layer 
and I'm just going to snap in a uh, a line so I can uh, a guide. So I'm going to select this uh, city skyline layer again. I'm going to position it nice and central, and that's looking okay. So I'm going to press Command J to duplicate it. I'm going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass, Two Pixels. Hit OK. And what we're doing here, we're going to go to Overlay, and we're sharpening the image, just making it a little bit sharp, sharper. Uh, I'm going to go back down to this uh, layer underneath. I'm going to press Command J. So now we've got two layers. So we've got one layer, two layer, and then the uh, like the high pass layer. And I'm going to go to the bottom layer. I'm going to choose soft light. And then this next layer there, I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 35. And what that does is it brings out the colors underneath. And I'm going to hit enter. And there we go for that one. So let me just check. Yep, we're looking good. Okay, uh, next I'm going to bring in Pulisic. Hope I'm saying his name right. Okay, I got this uh, from 40 Renders. People have asked me about cutting players out as well. Um, you can get a lot of players from uh, 40 Renders. However, if you can't cut out, my uh, my tool of choice is the pen tool. There's loads of um, tutorials on YouTube on how to use the pen tool. This is there. I'm going to press Command H and get rid of that guide. Okay, I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to press Command J, or you can just drag and drop onto the new layer. I'm going to filter other and high pass again, like we did before. Uh, two pixels, and change the blend mode to overlay. Then I'm going to hold all. I'm going to create a clipping mask uh, on that layer there. And then again, I'm going to go to my adjustment layers. I'm going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to check this little icon here. This makes it a clipping mask. And I'm going to desaturate Pulisic by minus 30. Uh, close that one there. Then what I'm also going to do is another adjustment layer. I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. And this is one of my favorite little tips and tricks. Create a clipping mask again by clicking that button there. The brightness, I'm going to drop down to minus 60. And the contrast, I'm going to put up to 40. Now, rather than just painting, so we can see there, we use that little eye there, we can see the difference we've made. So rather than just painting uh, black and white on to create light and shadow, what we can do is we can add the darkness, add the shade and the shadow, and then take it away. So this is our little layer mask icon here. Black and white selected over here. B for the brush tool. Uh, opacity and flow are about 35. We'll keep it there, see how we get on. to be a little bit stronger. Bring the flow up to about 50 and the opacity up to about 50. There we go. And you can just paint down and add some light effect. So if we were to take that away, see the little bit of difference we're making. So on his arm there, I'm not going to see that because Tammy's going to be there. On his shorts maybe, up his arms there. Okay, you can really take your time as well. It's one of those ones just for the tutorial. I am speeding through it a little bit. Use the bracket keys on your keyboard to change the, uh, the size. And that's looking good so far. Can't emphasize enough taking your time and just enjoying the process. Um, yeah, so we've made a uh, slight difference there. Take your time and it will look a lot better. Okay, next we're going to bring in uh, Tammy Abraham. And I'm going to resize him. And where should we put him? We'll put him around there. Let's just check. Yes, yeah, about similar. Okay, uh, we've got Tammy Abraham. What we're going to do is uh, desaturate. In fact, before we do that, we're going to um, 
drag and drop or press command J to duplicate. And we're going to sharpen him as well over uh, high pass. Two pixels, OK. Blend mode to overlay. And create a clipping mask there. Adjustment layers at the bottom there. Hue, saturation, and minus 30 again. Boom, straight on it. Happy days. Make sure you've got the little clipping mask icon selected. So we're only um, desaturating Tammy just so the blues on his shirt don't stand out too much and pop too much. Uh, yeah, looking good. So we're going to go to the layer above Tammy. So this brightness and contrast layer, select that one. Select new layer. So now we've got a layer above Pulisic and all his adjustments and below Tammy. Hit D on your keyboard to change the uh, palette to black. Soft brush selected if you haven't done so already. Nice soft brush. And use your bracket keys. And I'm just going to, in fact, what I'm going to do is bring my opacity and flow up to 100%. And hit black. Press Command T. Drag it down. Spread it out. And we'll slide it under to make some shadow. Now, whoever cut this one out for footy renders has done a really good job. So you can use your keys, your arrows on your keyboard, just to make those fine adjustments there. Maybe stretch it out a little bit more. Okay, if you really want to uh, add more shadow, you can do. Okay, but I was uh, I was content with this one. Um, yeah, it's looking good. So next, we're going to click back to our top layer. And we're going to press T for our text tool. Now I've got a text called Road Rage. I will link it in the description below where you can download it. It's a font that I uh, really do like. Color-wise, I'm going to go with a yellow. So right in the top corner, FFFFF00. Hit OK. And we'll just type out Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Okay, <laughs> um, 12 points there. And press Command T. Oh, put it about there, looks good. Okay, Command J, duplicate it. Command T, drag it up here. We'll have some text up there. You can put whatever you want. You can write Pulisic, Abraham, whatever. You can have multiple words coming down, left and right. Have a look around, see what you might like to use. And then finally, we're going to bring in our scratch texture. I'm going to drag and drop that. And I'm going to position it around there. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. I don't have screen before. Screen, yeah. And I'm dropping the fill down to 75%. So it's just not quite as strong, but it's it's still pretty heavy. Hit V if you move to, you can just drag it across a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a um, layer mask. Hit B for my brush tool. Yeah, that's drop it right down. Okay, I'm just going to paint. I don't want it all going, but I would just like Tammy and Christian Pulisic just to stand out a little bit and command zero and there is our edit I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please hit like if it's the first time watching uh, my tutorials and you enjoyed it please consider subscribing uh, hopefully now a few other videos should be popping up uh, for you to uh, have a look at again if you're new to my channel also at this point I'd just like to say I've got a sim racing channel so if you're keen for that Check the description below for a link to my sim racing channel that I've started recently. It'd be much appreciated. And yeah, I will see you in the next tutorial.